Hello my dear friends, welcome to this wonderful planet. You may ask, why say this wonderful planet instead of just Earth? Because it's Mars. You can say, what are you talking about? Because Mars is a lifeless planet and here we can see atmosphere, rivers, lakes and even oceans. And so it is, because not so long ago Mars was exactly like that. As time passed and Mars began to change, it's difficult to say for what reasons. I have one hypothesis and eventually it turned into what we are used to see now. You don't believe my pictures? And you are right to do it. Better to check everything yourself and now we will do it with you. With the help of the program Google Earth we look at space pictures of Mars and then at some satellite pictures of NASA. And what do we see? Yup, there it is. And what is it? The answer is self-evident. It's a dried up riverbed. Moving on. The dried up riverbed again. And there it's again. Dear friends, if you have never seen Martian rivers, I'm happy to show them to you. Everywhere you point, there are dried up river beds. And there were just a huge number of such rivers on Mars. When I look at Mars, I have the impression that there are fewer rivers on Earth than there were on Mars. Just look at this branching delta. It's just staggering. Now let's look at the satellite images. They are better quality than Google Earth. Just huge rivers fed the life-giving water all over Mars surface. And now I have a question for you, my dear friends. How many times in your life have you heard scientists speculating about whether there is water on Mars, whether there was water on Mars, and the like? Are they laughing at us? They already have the most detailed maps with the ocean which was there before. And here's one of the thousands of photos of Mars which clearly shows the shoreline of the Martian Ocean. And now a couple of very interesting photos from the Martian probe Phoenix obtained in 2008 where you can clearly see that under the Martian soil layer there is ice. And now I have a second question to you. If it's already clear that there is, there is a lot of water on Mars, what are they looking for there? Life represented by simple organisms? Believe me, they have known for a long time ever since the Martian meteorite ALH-84001 was found on Earth December 27, 1984 in the Allen Hills in Antarctica, where bacterial fossils were clearly identified. Few people know, but it was such a significant event 
that even President Bill Clinton spoke out about it in 1996. Let's hear what he said then. Today, ROC 84001 speaks to us across all those billions of years and millions of miles. It speaks of the possibility of life. That's not even me talking. That's the President of the United States of America talking. I will leave a link to the full video in the description. I guess you have already realized that there is no doubt about the existence of simple life, let alone water, on Mars today. So what are they looking for there? And now it's time to present to you what you are watching this video for. Meet the Pyramid on Mars. The picture, of course, not the best quality. After all, the minimum distance to the object 55 million kilometers. However, I will ask you to note that we see here very clear four faces, so familiar to us from the Egyptian pyramids. Second, these faces with filigree accuracy are identical in size to each other. Let's measure them accurately and make sure they are the same. I have something like 2009 meters. This is 2 kilometers one edge. Think about 2 kilometers and they are equal to each other. Now let me remind you that if you didn't know the pyramids encoded the well-known constant P as well as the golden ratio of phi. Moreover, the dimensions of the Earth and the Moon fit into the format of the golden ratio of the Egyptian pyramids and the Fibonacci sequence used in them. And now you have already understood that not only basic geometrical constants are ciphered in the pyramids, but also constants of interplanetary scale. And now, dear friends, you will be the first to find out why this is an exact copy of the Pyramid of Khafre on Mars. But before that, let me remind you a little bit of some radios in our solar system, namely the radio of the masses of Mars and Earth is 0 0.107. That is, if we divide the Mars mass by the mass of Earth, we get 0 0.107. Now pay attention. If the length of the face of the pyramid of Khafre equal to 250 meters divided by 0 0.107, we will receive just the face of our pyramid. 2009 meters. This is already more than amazing, dear friends, isn't it? Write in comments what you think about this. That is, it turns out that the face of the Pyramid of Khafre on the Earth belongs to the face of the Mars Pyramid as well as the radius of the mass of Mars to the mass of the Earth. Dear friends, can you imagine how much effort and work should be spent to find this pyramid in the boundless Martian desert? After all, no one has ever found it before and you know what would be the best reward for me. You certainly know. Like the video. Try to distribute it. 
so that as many people as possible finally know the truth about our reality and be sure to subscribe to the channel but dear friends this is not all the most interesting is yet to come and now let's look at the orientation of our Egyptian pyramids we can see that all sides of them are oriented to all four sides of the world. Let me spin the map and then make the orientation to the north. All pyramids are absolutely precisely located on the sides of the world. By the way, Let's measure the faces of the Pyramid of Khafre for even more convincing accuracy of my research. And it's exactly equal to 250 meters. And now, in a couple of seconds, we teleport again to Mars, to our Pyramid. And let's do the northward orientation as well and it's all almost positioned on all four sides of the world. You might say, well, no, it's a little crooked, and you will be right, but strangely enough, it only confirms the correctness of my theory. Let's still align the pyramid manually to the north. What will be the deviation? About a couple of degrees. Let me demonstrate it to you several times. Again, we orient it to the north automatically and then align it manually. Now, let's go back to the planetary values and remember that the Earth axis differs from the Martian axis by only two degrees. The angle of inclination of the Earth axis is approximately 23 degrees and the Martian axis is 25 degrees. Now it all adds up to the one big general theory. Get ready, dear friends, you will be the first to hear it. We know that the pyramids are strictly oriented to the sides of the world. Our Martian pyramid is oriented with a deviation of two degrees. So, once upon a time, it too was oriented strictly to the north, south, west and east, and the angle of inclination of the Mars axis was also 23 degrees, and exactly then on Mars there were all conditions for life, as well as on Earth now. There were seas, rivers, oceans, there was a biosphere, and of course the noosphere too. What the Martian pyramids confirm in the aftermath, south very large and so global happened. Perhaps it was the fall of an asteroid, which not only changed the angle of the planet from the ideal 23 degrees for life to 25 degrees, but also made the Martian climate the way we are used to seeing it now. You may ask, if the pyramids on Earth and on Mars have any relationship? And I will say unequivocally yes. Immediately the question may arise, how could communication be carried out between the two planets? And you already know the answer if you watched my previous video about the official evidence of the existence of UFO in Bermuda. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you do. It's all very short and clear, and even a blind person can see a real UFO there. Well, we'll move on to the conclusions. First, 
An object in the shape of a square pyramid with equal sides was found on Mars. Second, the object cannot have a natural origin as scientists still do not know any object of a natural origin in the form of a regular square pyramid. Third, the colossal sizes of the object only confirm its artificial origin. Fourth, orientation of sides of the pyramid corresponds to four sides of the world of Mars, north, south, west and east. Fifth, small deviation from ideal orientation in couple of degrees can be explained by difference of an angle of slope of the Martian axis in 25 degrees in difference from terrestrial one in 23 degrees. Sixth, a huge number of craters on Mars of impact nature is probably the reason for the axis deviation and also the reason for changes in climatic conditions on Mars. Seventh, presence of huge relief structural formations on Mars in the form of dried up river beds, lakes, smooth bottoms of oceans, seashore lines and islands proves the existence of a huge hydrosphere of Mars in the past and consequently life on Mars. Eighth, the Martian meteorite ALH-84001 leaves no doubt about the existence of life on Mars and the statement of US President Bill Clinton only confirms it. Consequently, Mars had an evolutionary perspective and intelligent life in the form of a highly evolved civilization which left these huge structures on Mars and Earth. Ninth, it's known that many constants such as number P, golden ratio, are encoded in pyramids. This study shows that the relationship between the mass of Mars and Earth expressed in the most precise ratio of the phases of the Martian Pyramid and the Pyramid of Hafer. Tenth, presence of pyramids on different planets gives an opportunity to assume existence in an antiquity and possibly now of a highly developed and high-tech interplanetary civilization. Dear friends, you cannot even imagine how many interesting things I found on Mars. I even found something that NASA tried to hide, but they failed. And in the next video I will certainly show you this and give you arguments to prove it. And now try to spread this video, like and subscribe to the channel, of course. There are very, very, very many interesting things ahead.